so many people know the critical importance of omega-3 fatty acids in preventing cardiovascular disease. Not as many people are aware of the critical importance of omega-3 fatty acids in brain health and brain function. They keep the blood vessels healthy. They prevent strokes. They prevent vascular diseases. Omega-6s almost do completely the opposite. The omega-6 fatty acids, especially arachidonic acid, are high potency, hyperinflammatory accelerators. When you have a disease or when you have an infection and you pour omega-6 fatty acids on it, it's like adding gasoline to the fire. In most of evolution, there was a pretty good balance about one to one between the arachidonic acid and the omega-3s. The body can choose which one it needs at the right time for the right response. Part of the health benefits of Mediterranean diets is about a 50-50 balance of omega-6s to omega-3s. Well, what's happened in the U.S. and in the world in the last hundred years is that we shifted our calories into seed oils. Plant sources and seed oil sources are sources of omega-6s. And the most abundant is soybean oil, but actually corn oil can have 75 to 1 omega-6s to omega-3s in it, and safflower oil and sunflower oil, depending on which types, can have huge amounts of omega-6s in it. I think this single dietary change is responsible for a huge explosion in depressive disorders, in addictive disorders, and in cardiovascular disorders. And if you have more omega-6s than omega-3s, you're more predisposed to prostate cancer, to ovarian cancer, pancreatitis. What happens is the soybean oil comes in, it has a short chain omega-6 fatty acid that blocks up all the machinery, makes a lot of arachidonic acid, and then the cells, instead of being 50-50, are 80% omega-6 fatty acids or 90%, so the cell has no choice but to respond with hyperinflammation. And you need a lot more omega-3 fatty acids in your diet than to push out these bad actor omega-6 fatty acid players. It's so important to get a number on how much omega-3s we should consume to be healthy. And I, I did these calculations. It varies as to whether you're eating a Mediterranean diet with olive oil in the background, or if you're eating a U.S. diet with junk food and omega-6 fatty acids in the background. If you're eating a Mediterranean diet, you need about a gram of omega-3 fatty acids a day. However, if you're eating a junk food diet and a usual diet in the U.S., you need four times as much. You need four, almost four grams a day of omega-3 fatty acids to push out the omega-6s because the omega-6s are like gasoline on the fire for inflammation and the omega-3s quiet down inflammation.